In this video, I will discuss one example. Suppose there is a tank and I want to measure the tank level. For that purpose, I need one level sensor. This level sensor measures the tank level and generates one output signal. This level sensor sends this signal to the PLC, Programmable Logic Controller. The output is in the form of 4 to 20 milli amperes. It is a current signal. This level sensor is an analog input to the PLC. PLC receives the current signal from the level sensor and it displays to the operator on the computer graphics. So the PLC sending the signal to the computer. The communication between the PLC and the computer is in the form of digital communication like Ethernet. If you see, the PLC receives the signal from the level sensor using 4 to 20 milliamperes, and PLC sends this processed level signal to the computer via communication, digital communication. It can be any type of communication that depends on the PLC manufacturer. Mostly it will be a Ethernet communication. So this is the flow diagram from the level sensor to the PLC and from the PLC to the computer. I am just using the terminology as a computer only. Generally, we will call them as operator workstations or engineering workstations. In this course, I will just use the term computer. Also, if you see here, in general terminology, we use sensor like level sensor, pressure sensor, temperature sensor, etc. But in industries, we use level transmitter. Okay. This is level transmitter. The transmitter mostly sends the signal in the form of 4 to 20 milliamperes. That is why we use the word transmitter instead of sensor. The sensor can be sent the signal in any form, but in industries, the standard signal is 4 to 20 milliamperes. For that purpose, the terminology we adopted is level transmitter. This sensor measures the tank level and generates equivalent current signal. That current signal, it will send it to the PLC. The PLC receives the signal and it converts the value in the digital format. And finally, the tank level will be displayed on the computer so that the operator or engineer can see the value of a tank level. Similar approach will be followed for any type of input signal. Analog input based on 4 to 20 milliamperes. One important point is we can use any type of transmitter. For example, for measuring the tank level, we have 
many types of technologies working principles different types of instruments manufacturers etc you can choose any of the instrument as per your requirement the most common point between all these transmitters and instruments is that respect to instrument measures the process variable and it will generate one output current signal the current signal will go from the transmitter to the plc so this is the common concept it doesn't matter which type of transmitter which type of technology was used in the field you can use same transmitter or different transmitters i mean same technology or different technology finally that instrument measures the process variable and generates one output current signal this you have to remember thank you i will meet you in the next video